Hey up YouTube, happy morning to you. It's Team Park Bazaar. We this is Bazaar. It's the weekend. We this is Bazaar. It's the weekend. We are here. Come shop with us. We are in Champions Gate and we came down in the uh, orange uh, F type today, didn't we? Yeah, of course we did. Yeah, yeah, no, not really. <laughs> um, so we are down here at Champions Gate. It's not somewhere we come very often. Um, it is south of Orlando. Champions Gate is best known for being, it started as a golf, or still is, a big golf resort, a uh, premier golf resort. And we're in Champions Gate Villages, which is like mainly think dining, yeah, as well as some shops. We're going to bring you around here. The reason we don't come down here very often is it's so far from Orlando. For us anyway, we live near Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And for us, on a good day, this is a 30 minute drive. So when you see all these places near Reunion, this as well, just off the I-4, I've dropped the map in, you'll see it, just off the I-4. So all those people who say that it's um, 15 minutes from Disney, it might be actually from um, Animal, Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, but if you're going to Magic Kingdom, double that. And you've got to hit the I-4, which um, was, was the source part of our journey mm -hmm. coming down. But we'll come with us, we're going to have a walk around and look at a few things. The last time we were down here may have been two years ago. I think more. more and this was a fish and chip shop and we recommended it as one of the best fish and chip shops but it's now shut down as has the other one max i think the one down the uh, uh down on the 27 down on the 27 so fish and chip shops are not doing well at the moment i think the prices have gone up and the tourists are not eating it obviously yeah. they can't be selling it so come with us um i'll drop in a map of the area we kind of don't really know where we're going we just kind of winging, winging it. it so to speak um we did we do know there's a lot of good shops here and eating places and we are both a little bit peckish yes. so i think we will be eating at some point in this visit we part right here at the top end i'll show you on the map up near um, what, what used to be the uh, um fish and chip shop and let's have a walk around some of these places and see what we can see. So we're gonna, we came down the main road, we came down the main road there, we're gonna hang a right and go past these uh, shops. And over there, I think there's just like a state farm, it's more businesses on that end. And down here, there's a, just a pizza place and, uh, ooh, Publix is around here, I think, is it? Definitely a pizza place, Max. Definitely boxes. And down which the uh, houses are. Were you saying how much of the houses down here or not? Townhouses 335. Um, apartments 255. Big houses, expensive. So this is class with Davenport. Yeah. Davenport, yeah. Because yeah. we're quite close to Davenport here, aren't we? Yeah. Davenport. So it is slightly cheaper than, well, it's quite a lot cheaper than where we live. Yep. So we have this pizza place, and I'm not sure what else is down here. We may have to go across that side of the road and see, uh, see what we have. At least we're in the shade on this side. Well, you can have your eyebrows waxed again, Max. Oh, there's an up store. Good to know if you need to bring your stuff back down. Yeah, yeah a few more places down here, Max. I think there's a public's exit down here, though, because they're bringing that trolley, unless you've just been shopping and then down here. So you do have um, hair cuttery. Oh, we need some vodka. Liquor store. Liquor store. We need some vodka. Let's go in and get some vodka. Tito's. Yes. Yeah, flavoured gins are coming back in now, aren't they? I think so. Yeah, I got regular gins, Bombay Sapphire. And that's Gordon's gin. Not as many as they are really. Aviation gin is good as well. Yeah, we need vodka though. Be the god. Malibu, 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 rum. Malibu, Malibu, rum. Rum. Susie's got my favourite. Oh, you, you, what's your favourite rum? It is the. It's the one I've got. Palms, I think. Palms, is it? Let's see it. Can ask on the way out. I don't need it now. Bailey's, how much is Bailey's here? Expensive again. 34 bucks. 55. 55. Yeah, expensive. Bailey's plus is a. Tax, don't plus tax, yeah, you got tax on top of that, you're right. Just squeezing down here. Yeah, squeeze through the boxes. You won't knock any off? No. If you break it, you pay for it. I think is on that side. Was it? Look, yeah. see if we got your thing down. You think you have your... Oh, look, they got the little ones of the um, oh, yeah. sangria. Yeah. Miniature ones. $15. Yeah, they got the big one, have they? There's no, two. I think a four for 15. Yeah. And how much do we pay for the big one? It was only about six, like wasn't it? Seven, yeah. $8. Yeah. I think vodka's over that way. Mm -hmm. Cigars as well. They have cigars as well. Yeah. Vodka. Vodka? Vodka, is it that way? We've gone the wrong way around. Yeah, thank we'll you. We'll find it. Yeah. We're just nosing what You're nosing. I'm trying to get to the vodka. You're the one who wants to see everything else. There we go. Lots of vodka. 
Ja, så backar. Oh, don't want to get a big one, just a... Massive little one. I don't flavour vodka. Seems to have like flavour vodka. Flavour vodka, yeah, since the gins came out. Oh yeah, wild berry vodka, yeah. They don't seem to have many flavour gins, but they have a lot of flavour vodka. Oh. Huh. Pear and elderflower. Why, Smirnoff? Small ones, 16 dollars I mean a smaller one than that. The half size ones. That's not small. Alright. Oh, smaller is sixteen ninety nine. Oh they got these. Oh, that's the one, isn't it? That's sixteen oh, ninety nine. Yeah. That's sixteen ninety nine. But that's sixteen ninety nine. They're probably the same but sounds in a plastic. Is it? Yeah. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Hmm. Ooh, it's getting Eight ninety nine. That's probably good stuff. Use that to take stains out your clothes as well. Yep, yeah. peppermint vodka. I that. Wow. Mm. Well, three olives. Never heard of that. It's English. What do you want to get, Max? Actually, it's quite expensive. It's not enough, obviously. Yes. Tito's is more expensive normally. Just get Smirnoff or? Yeah. What's that? Svenka? Or is Finnish vodka? But they haven't got Euro, what do you call it here? Yeah. The one that's banned. I doubt it. That's the one with the uh, uh, buffalo bison, no, grass. bison grass, yeah. Well, they have a cucumber one as well, like um, they have a cucumber vodka, like a muddle vodka. So I'm between this one. Oh, let's go strawberry. Just got a plain one. Yeah. So you got an impromptu uh, come shot with us in the boo shop there. <laughs> it wasn't really planned. We did also see some gin um, from the Chinese gin that we had when we were on the on the in Japan. Chinese, Japanese that we saw when we were in Japan, and we used to drink it in the lounge, but it was very expensive. So there's a subway at the end. There's a smoke shop where you can get your cigars. And I think that's about it for this trip. So we're going to just go and obviously drop um, this haul back in the car and then pop back with us and we'll carry on the tour. So we, uh, we just actually drove down the road. We just came down, we were down there at the off-license past the 7-Eleven. There's some more eating areas here. This is the main Champions Gate archway yeah. or sign that heads in towards the hotel on the golf course. And all these restaurants are or either basically our side of the road, aren't they? Yeah. We were on this uh, right-hand side currently. We'll give you the left-hand side. Are you all right there? Yeah, falling off. falling off the thing. So let's head down here and see what we have to, um, where we have to uh, eat. I think it's going to be mainly eating places down here um, in this wonderful cool weather. But the first one, you'll recognise the name, won't you? It's Miller's. And it was a really nice... I think we can get close to it. Can we come down here? See if we can get cut through. So that's a really nice outside bar here. It's like a newer Miller's, doesn't it? And it smells really good. Yeah. And Top tip, never come out hungry yeah. when you're doing these things. Eat first. Me thinks we might be eating sooner than later. Yes. <laughs> She's like, oh, we might go to a restaurant later on. I think later on will be in about 20 minutes, I think, <laughs> where we're going. The lovely smell of Miller's. So they've got this nice outside bar, right? Inside, outside. There's these comfy chairs here, Max. Look at them, like patio chairs. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yep. I like that, Miller's. That looks uh, quite it's new. pretty new. Pretty new, that one, by the look. I don't know, you tell us. I don't know when it's all. This whole area has started being built around 2000, so it may not be that new, but just the design of the building is a newer Miller's, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to cut through here, because I think there's about three or four eating places. I think this is going to be more of a eat than eat shop. Indoors. Yeah, well, unless you're... Uh, Interesting. Oh, can you get through there? I think there's a path to get through there because I see a line going across. Because you can't, there's no pavement. There is a pavement that way. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay, let's cross over. Away from the bins. <laughs> I think you can cut. Hey? Eh? That really does help. We came down this road here. We were over there before, just the other side of those shops. And, uh, oh, we have a Chili's next door to Miller's. We used to go to Chili's in the past. We haven't been for a long time to Chili's, have we? It kind of went off a bit, didn't it? We used it? to have one in Charlottesville when we were yeah. in Virginia. Yeah, and when we used to go to uh, Williamsburg. Yeah. We're going there, but uh, we, haven't, we haven't been in Chili's for a long time. Miller's is still 
tends to be Miller's and uh, what do you call it we go to now, the other one, the, um, where you get your big cocktails. Oh, cheddars. Yes, cheddars. Cheddars. Let's so head down here. I think there's two more eating places down here. This is plenty of parking and it is free by the look of it. Mm, not been in one of these for a while either. What do you say? Not been in one of these for a while What's either. What's one of these? You'll see. Oh yes. Can you see it yet? Tell us. Can you see it? Can you see it? We'll show you the sign when we get a bit closer if you can't work it out yourselves yet. It is a Red Robin. Yum. Gourmet Burgers. We used to, there was one of these over in, um, in uh, Charlottesville that we used to go to and they do the best garlic fries. fries. Best garlic fries. The only thing Maxine hated about it is Maxine hates balloons yeah. and they're always blowing balloons up for party things, weren't they? And they you were. were cringing every time. It used to be in the mall yeah. in Charlottesville. So if you like gourmet burgers, it's kind of, it's a burger and fries place. They are really good. But they, they are, they are really good. I'm going to say there's one more on the end that's uh, fine what that one is. Because my mouth is watering as we see all these places. See what we've got on the end. I think I know what it is by the green signs, do you? Yep, I know what it is. Yeah. Have you guessed it yet? Can you tell from the, the green on the uh, parking signs? It's dead, doesn't it? It is. It says gourmet burgers and brews. They used to be served beer. Did they? Oh, they did have a bar. They did have a bar in that one, yeah. Yes, this is one of our favourite go-to places, period. Yeah. And it's called Panera Bread. If you've never been to Panera Bread, you have to come to a Panera Bread when you come to Florida because they have the best salads and sandwiches and soups. You can get them in a bread bowl. My mum my mom likes the, um, my mum really likes the, uh, the what do you call it ones in the, in the, in the sourdough bread bowl. Yeah. And the strawberry poppy seed salad at summertime is to die for. We usually get a, half, a small salad and a, a soup or something, don't we, to mix it up. But Panera bread is definitely, um, you've got to try it. You've got to come to Florida, you've got to try a Panera bread. Look, we've got a lovely outside area. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's huge. I won't be out here, it should be like 100 degrees. Look at that. And we've got some nice copyright music to help us along. Well, we've cracked. We haven't even got to the second pizza shop yet. We've cracked from those restaurants we just we went through. Any ideas which one we've decided? Ten, nine, eight, three, two, one. We're going to go into uh, the place we haven't been to for so long, Red Robin. Yum! And uh, see if it's still good. By the way, I didn't mention those garlic fries used to be bottomless. So you can just eat and eat and eat. Probably not after COVID. But we'll go in and see um, see how it is in here. <laughs> How would that be, Max? Uh, I'm not even <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to show you everybody that guess where we sat again <laughs> near the toilet. Yeah. As I say, it's, it's burgers and it is. These are good burgers, though. All burgers include bottomless side. Oh, what does it say that much? Yeah. All burgers include bottomless sides. Steak fries, you can chips, side salad, coleslaw, sweet potato fries, garlic fries, one seventy nine if you want to. You have to pay extra Yeah. Tycoon burger. Oh, they got more than burgers on the other side, Max. Oh, they... Fish oh and gosh. chips? No. Salads? Nah. Not even a burger, but wow, look at that dessert, Max. Look at that cinnamon <gasps> sugar dough rings oh, thing. Gosh. Oh, we're going to have to bring Nick and Leah. Yeah. yeah. Nick's eyes are going to pop out of his head. Yeah. Guacamole burger. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get a bacon cheeseburger, I think. Not cheap. 15 bucks. They're not expensive, though, are they? No. Yeah. There's a banzai, teriyaki glazed patty, grilled pineapple. You got pineapple on a burger, Max. Ooh. Pineapple on a burger. So you'll see a lot of these tables have these have like iPads on them now, don't they, these chains? And basically you can um, reorder drinks, you can order appetizers, games you have to pay for, and then you can pay, usually pay your bill on here as well, don't you? Yeah. When you're paying, but it's kind of the same with the chilies. I think I think they're all like part of the same chain. I forget who else does it as well now, but um, even Cheddar's does it. Cheddar's has one on there. I'm not sure so, Miller's do it as well. I think Miller's might do I think it might be part of the same thing. But um, yeah, it doesn't do all. But. We'll see. So freckled lemon cake is one of the dessert max for um, $8.99. Next one is the mountain high mud pie for $8.99. Ooh, 
layered with Oreo cookies, fudge, caramel, and whipped cream. Nice. Then that's the gooey chocolate brownie cake for seven ninety nine. And then da 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 da, the cinnamon sugar roll door rings. <laughs> A big range in the calories, 15.50 to 7.70, and um, it doesn't say how much that is, does it? Select to view price. Maybe you can add as many as you want. Oh yeah, yeah, probably. And then fudge filled chocolate, yeah, because that's why it'll vary. You'll pick yeah. how many you want, innit? Yeah. yeah. What'd you go for, Max? I went for the southern charm. Southern charm with the side side. With yeah? the side side, unlimited side side. Portions are a bit smaller than they used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I got the regular cheeseburger and bottomless garlic fries. I mean, what's the point to be getting bottomless when I can just refill them and she can have some on mine? Okay. I did just ask for a knife because the only silverware they give you is a fork, which is not very good for chopping a burger in half. We thought they'd bring a knife with it, but they didn't. So uh, I thought you should put these fries in a separate basket as well and then just fill them up. But could be wrong. We have a knife and Max is using it as well. Put these burgers up. No food always tastes better when you're hungry, but that is a really, really good burger. Mm. And those garlic fries are really good as well. Mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. I think of the garlic fries. See up garlic. Look at the garlic on there. Tons of garlic on it. Really good. Now you're not doing half of a burger. What's it like? It's pretty good. What did you get? What was in it? I um, had bacon in it. Cheese, like a barbecue sauce, mm. and another sauce, I can't remember what it was, it's quite sweet, it's really good. You like enjoying it? Really, really good, isn't it? Really good. Yeah, mine's just like a regular bacon, it's got mayo on mine, but bacon. The bacon's really good, mm. and the bun's really good. I just ordered some more fries already, because they're, they're good. Round two. Round two. Um, you can eat your green stuff, I love me. I love me chips, and me burger, with me bacon. You said it was a whiskey sauce and that, you remember? Yeah, it's a whiskey sauce. Mm. Um, as we've both been eating the garlic fries, then does that mean I, I can have a kiss later on? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, you heard it here. Maybe, I'll let you know. I did notice as well on this little iPad thing that's flashing around, is they have um, 4 dollars margaritas and Wednesdays half price kids meals. So if you've got kids and you need to bring them in, target the Wednesday, you should get a cheaper. Well, I've pretty much destroyed mine. <sighs> I mean, I think Ford's, everybody thinks Ford's is good. I think this is even better than Ford's. Don't you, burgers? Mm -hmm. These could be the best burgers in Orlando. From people who have a few burgers, occasionally. If you haven't tried the fish and chip show, you've got to try that next. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make that statement now. These could be the best burgers in Orlando. Um, if you take, uh, really well cooked, really tasty. And those garlic fries are just unique to this place. So, mm, good job. So I just saw a sign over there, I went to check out Max. Yeah. They, have a, they have a happy hour here, um, Monday to Friday, 3 till 6, 3, 4 and 5 dollar specials and half dollar app half price appetizers and appetizers. So if you need a drink in the afternoon, nicely air conditioned. But the problem is you've got to drive to them. Yeah. So somebody's going to be driving because they're, they're in the sticks, aren't they? But I would say this is as good quality as it was 10 years ago last time we had it. Yeah. Portion's a bit smaller, but it's bottomless, so you can get more. Yeah. Yeah, it's problem solved. Cut was going to pay for the meal on the iPad, so um, Cut, you just pay us. Um, actually, I'll take you from the beginning. You just press pay and go, and it comes up here. And then you say continue to pay my check. It's forty-one dollars. Um, so your total is forty-one twenty-three. And then the next step will be to um, add a tip. I guess. Oh, you can see the check details, so you can actually see what you had here. Three books for a soda max. It's not bad, though. It's not bad, is it? Free refills and, uh, and the upcharge for the uh, for the things. Or you have to pay, then add tip, I guess. Oh, interesting. And you can add a tip <coughs> and choose the tip amount. You just slide this thing up and down if you want to add a tip. And leave that at twenty percent, and they will come. To, and you can view the check in and a complete payment. And then you can add the receipt if you want to keep a copy. You can email. I'm just going to say no receipt for this. There you go. Or you can do a survey as well, we might give you something. So I've just completed the survey and it sent to me in a prize draw, so it my email. Um, so you might want to do that one year. You, you never know, if you're not in it, you can't win it, nope. can you? Max is probably going to get a, you can get refills to go here. So on a hot day like this, I'll put it in a cup for you, or I'll give you a fresh cup. Because refills are free and you can take it with you, can't you? Yeah, you've got a drink in the car. Yep.
Oof. Right. It's time yeah. to sleep now. Totally stopped. Oh, Randy's going to sleep now for a few hours. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, well, you got our feelings on that. That was pretty darn good. We need to head back to the road now, jump in the car and take you to the last section over here um, with a few more really, really good eating places. So we're just going to uh, pick the car up here where we left it outside Miller's and we're going to head right across there to Wendy's. So we're here? At Wendy's. So we're here? Well, well there's Wendy's. We haven't quite gone down there because this is a petrol station. We don't really want to go and walk through. But um, good day, Wendy. There'll be four of us today, as I was saying. In the film, if you know what that's from. Four, no, before of us dining today, isn't it? It's a lot of that. A lot more than four. Yeah. Uh, Circle K, gas station for the uh, petrol station. And um, yeah, they've always, they've always got good little snacks and stuff. If you're staying in a hotel and you want some cheap drinks and stuff, you have to get your packs of water from, isn't it? Yep. And then next to that, we have a Baskin Robbins. Do you want to explain what a Baskin Robbins is, Max? I think it's ice cream, isn't it? Yep. It's ice cream and then it's coffee, coffee. with um, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. Yeah, they're all part of the same family, I think. Yeah, Baskin Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts. And what do they have in Dunkin' Donuts, Max? Donuts. Yeah, these are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah. You know, these are pretty good, though, donuts. Though, so, they have been known to run out of donuts. We've been in later in the day, they have been running, known to run out when you want some, haven't they? So this place here is a local place. It's called what, Max? The Tavern? Uh, Four Corners Tavern. Four Corners Tavern. Four Corners is this area here. And this looks pretty neat, actually. It's like a 12 till 2 a.m. place. They have an outside bar they're just setting up. Is it past? Yeah, it's way past 12. I guess they don't run the bar out here till the evening. But these usually are pretty good. These are our places we normally go to, aren't they? Because yeah. it's basically the locals eating. I don't know if it's a chain. I've not, I've not heard of this before. No, I haven't. But the Four Corners Tavern. I don't see a menu out to show you what's in there. But, uh, I think it's basically American. American food. Usually they are, aren't they? Usually they're usually American. They have a grooming place and then a Jersey Mike subs, which are a bit like Subway, but you don't like them I don't as like much, them. do you? Why not? I don't know. It's just, I don't like the bread as much as the Subway. Ah. And then there's a Planet Smoothie, which makes your, uh, your smoothie drinks. So, again, it's all mainly eating places, not many shopping places. It's bottomless mimosas, Max, I just saw that. Was this uh, Italian? I've never heard of that before. Ossera Italian Kitchen. Now serving lunch, it's like pizzas, obviously it's Italian. Bottomless mimosas though, Max. And then frozen yoghurt. Do you want to explain to the viewers what frozen yoghurt is? Because they don't have that in, in, uh, in England. It's a bit like ice cream, isn't it? Yeah. It's yoghurt instead. It's thicker, is it? It's a bit... Well, it's, it's like, it looks like ice cream. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's got a slightly different taste. It's not quite as creamy, I don't think. Yeah. It's pretty nice. And this is Tijuana Flats, which is uh, another chain. I never get to go in because Maxine doesn't like Mexican food. But uh, it's a typical Tex-Mex, you know, Southern Mexican. Then we're going to crawl across the main road here. We were over there before at um, Publix. Publix, and there's a McDonald's here on the corner. I think you all know what McDonald's is. But you can usually find a McDonald's on every corner when they're one of these type of places. These are all the apartments that they built at the back of the complex as well. And as I say, you can just see the hotel through the trees as you go straight down there towards the golf course and the fancy area. And we'll get across here before the traffic comes. And see what we have over this side of the road. They've got a lot of um, eating out areas, haven't they? Like tables yeah. and things. First watch, I think we've mentioned this before. That's probably the premier breakfast place. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I prefer, um, I must admit, I do prefer the, um, the other one. Kiki's, don't Kiki's. you? Kiki's, it's a little bit cheaper. But, but this one's got like slightly different things and it's like all organic, organic and local, food. local produce. Yeah, so sort of like guacamole and all that stuff, you know, fancy stuff there for dinner. Next to it we have a, oh it's just as breakfast brunch, yeah, they cl all these breakfast places close about two. So don't expect to get in any of these past two o'clock, they're all shut down, but they open about six or seven, don't they? Yeah. We've got a T-Mobile phone shop. Nails. Another nails salon. Salon G, what's that? Hairdresses, New? I'm guessing. No product alert. Yeah, yeah and yeah, it's a hairdresser. You're all right. How did you know? Huh? It's just a it's woman thing. A woman thing, is it? Yeah. Meanfully. What's this? Look, the blue. Blue Coast. The restaurant. Oh, it's a uh, Wouton soup. I think it's the Chinese one. Is it? Yeah. Tofu. Curry hot pot. 20, with half a lobster tail, Max. Mmm. Tempura cheesecake. I never had a cheesecake with tempura. So it's... um. Chinese. Chinese and sushi balance. Yeah. Okay. Most of these places you can order online and they'll deliver, of course. And on the end we have, same place, 
And then across the road here, there's usually these tend to be more businesses as you get near the end, aren't they? Let's see what we got. Well, there's Publix, that's where we are. Where we started the vlog. We went and bought the booze. So we have Morgan Stanley that's like a bank. Day spa. Yeah, so not day spa. As opposed to a night spa. Prices, if you want any special. 50 minute Swedish massage and a signature facial with mango nice. for 169. That's a pretty good price. Is it? Mm. Guess because you're a bit off the beaten track. Little Greek, these are good. We've been to these before, haven't we? Yeah. There's one near us. If you want like um, you know, like pita rolls um, with the fries and stuff, these are great little places to go to. Gyros. Gyros they call them here, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And uh hairdresser place and then what's this on the end? Chicken place. Chicken tenders, Huey Magoos. Well, they got free every 5 p.m. It's like a chicken, chicken fast food. Chicken tenders, yeah. Oh, is that garlic bread with it though? Yeah. That could be quite good. Oh, they've got the dips as well over here. I think we're at the end of it now, aren't we? No, I was just saying they got a nap like most of these places. So there you go. That is the end of it. Thank you for joining us. Um, it was going to be a come shop with us. I guess it was if you include booze. Ended up being a come eat with us. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think this is, a, I say it's a good area to hang around if you need your food, but there's not a lot of uh, shops. It's really more it's mainly eating dining in the evening. But, but it's quite a um, touristy place around here, isn't it? Yes, quite yeah. a lot of tourists around here. Yes, so yes, that's quite true. And you're quite close to the I-4. We just looked on the map and it's all red again. So we're going to have to battle the traffic to get back up to Orlando. But thanks for joining us. Appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you found this useful. Finding out where some of these areas are. Uh, close to the eye, and the other good thing it is close to the eye, so you can jump on and off it. Uh, especially if traffic's bad, just jump off, have a meal, and try and get back on half an hour later. Mm -hmm. Sometimes helps. We're going to run because it's um, the afternoon, and you can spot what those clouds are. You know what that's going to mean? That's going to mean we're going to get a few showers coming up soon. But again, thanks for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe and put your comments below. And we will see thee when, Max. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.